I'm Deputy Chief Thomas Castro, T-H-O-M-A-S-C-A-S-T-R-O. -S I'm the Deputy Chief over the Crime Criminal Investigations Division. So Dallas Police Detectives received investigative information from the Bossier City, Louisiana Police Department, which indicates the suspect in the sexual assault, sexual assaults on September 12th and 19th in North Dallas and on October 30th in Northeast Dallas may be related to two sexual assaults which occurred in Bossier City. Detectives believe these cases may be related based on similarities of the suspect description and his actions during these offenses. The offenses occurred in Bossier City in late March and early April of 2018. We're asking anybody that may know of an individual who, me who meets the suspect description, a young black male between the ages of 16 and eight, 19 and approximately 5 foot 8 inches tall and thin, who was in the Shreveport, Bossier City area during March and April of 2018 and who is currently in the Dallas area. We encourage those individuals to please call Detective Haker at 214-671-3610. If you wish to remain anonymous, please call Crime Stoppers at 214-373-8477. I'll take a couple of questions at this time. Did they share any details on how those cases happened? Uh, how did they compare to the ones here? Based on the suspect description that I just gave out, um, similar to this, and his MO, the way that he operated, the way that he um, committed these offenses was very similar to those of Dallas. So when I gave the press conference a couple of days ago, I mentioned that we reached out to local agencies around here. Well, this coordination actually extended across state lines, and so we're coordinating and conducting investigations in concurrence with uh, Bossier City Police Department. Are you saying there's a possibility it could be in either city or anywhere in between? We don't know. Um, the last few offenses happened in Dallas, so our, we're, our leaning towards this suspect being in Dallas. You know, there was five months um, where there was not an offense being, there, there was not an offense committed. We're not saying that an offense didn't take place, but those offenses have not been reported. So if there's anybody that um, was a victim of this kind of assault, we would like to hear from them. Could you go again, again and repeat what the assault charges were so other people who might be victimized can be able to say, hey, uh, that's, I, I was one of his victims, so probably, what do you think can really? Well, to follow up on the uh, press conference for me the other day, this individual knocks on the door and solicits either work or, or monies, and then forces his way into an apartment, displays a weapon, and sexually assaults these women, and then leaves the, uh, and it's happened in three apartments here in Dallas. What advice? Do you have for women or anybody to open the doors to take these laws? Well, this goes for across all lines. That you need to make sure um, who is outside your door before you open that door. Um, and if it's an individual that you do not recognize, uh, we encourage you not to open that door, and but to please call for the police, call 911, so the officers can get there and see if this individual is still there, or at least that, if nothing else, it leaves a record. Um, for other officers that they can follow up on. This information, was it, was it released specifically between the two cities, Bossier City and, and Dallas, or was it just kind of a general thing and then they responded, or y'all responded either way? It was just a core, I'll just leave it, it was a coordinated effort between Dallas and Bossier City. Um, of course, we'll continue to reach out to our local agencies, continue to push this. I want to thank the media for continuing to keep the story going and, and circulating it. And if we get other cities or other states that may have similar offenses, then we'll coordinate with those cities and states as well. Did you guys learn anything about this guy from talking to the other police department? Maybe something he did there that, because there's not a, a whole lot of information that we know about him either. Is there anything that Dallas could learn from talking to them over there? Right, right now, would they have about the same information that we have. Um, we don't know who this person is. We need somebody to come forward with a name. Um, I gave a press conference the other day, but we get a volume of tips, um, and some of them are, are more credible than others. We still want these people to call. We want everybody to call. We want to take on every tip, but it takes the detectives some time to filter through all of those tips. But to get back to your question, we don't know any much more than we did um, a couple of days ago. I noticed that you said uh, that was late, or late March and early April. You said In Bossier City, yes. Right now they have two that have been reported to them. 
Similar, similar description that I just gave out, um, the way that this guy conducted his um, criminal episodes in Dallas, kind of the same way in Louisiana. I'll leave you guys with, with a couple of things here. Um, you know, to date, this suspect has not caused any serious injuries, but this type of crime um, has a potential to escalate. So I ask for the students in these high schools in, these, in this area of Dallas that may have befriended a young man that looks like this, and that, they, that this guy gave information that he is from the Bossier City, Shreveport area, we need to speak to those students. We need, to, need them to come forward. We need them to give us a name. And that would go for the educators of these high schools as well. And my last plea is, is for the family members of this young man. Um, he may be your son, your grandson, your nephew, or even a cousin. We need you to come forward. We need you to help give his identification to the police department to call. If you want to remain anonymous, I gave you an option to remain anonymous, but we're not doing this young man a favor by keeping his identity hidden. Um, like I said, this, these type of crimes in our experience, um, they don't stop. He's a sexual predator and, and they just continue to commit these crimes. So we need somebody to come forward and give us a name. So I appreciate y'all being here. And what's the number they can call? The number for, it's Detective Haker, and that name is H-A-E-C-K-E-R, and he's 214-671-3610. Let me finish with one more, I'm sorry. Um, so he's a lead detective, so everything's being coordinated and filtered through him. But I just want to make these citizens aware that we do have our, our CRT units, our neighborhood police officers, undercover units, out in these areas where we've had these crimes. They're coordinating with and through this detective. And we just want to assure, that these, assure these citizens that we're doing everything that we can to protect them and keep them safe. So thank you for your time. Can you comment on the Christopher Head body cam video? Sorry? Can you comment on the Christopher Head body cam video? No. I, not at this time, thanks. Thanks, Chief. Have you talked to the school district then since you're calling out to the students? Absolutely. We kind of reached out to everybody that we, we could at this point, and we'll continue to do so. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks, guys.